Okay, I can see two people have joined. So just comment down hi so that I can know who all have joined the session yet. And we'll wait for a minute or two and then we'll begin with the session. Hi Neha, how are you? Hi Ashi. We'll just wait for a minute or two and then we'll begin with it. Good and you I'm good too. We'll just wait for another one minute and we'll just begin with it. I'm excited for today's show. Really, that means a lot to me if you guys are excited for these sessions. It means a lot. And today we'll even, doing, we'll even do something very interesting and we'll not only work with one type of raisin. Today we'll be working with two types of raisin, UV raisin and normal raisin all together. Okay, I can see four people have joined. So let's just start with Mona. Nice to see you, Shika. Nice to see you guys too. Okay, so first of all, let's start out with the molding of what we made in our previous session. So that when I start something new, we have more viewers in this live. So hi everyone, this is Ishika, and you are here on Visha.live session of Raisin Art. So this is what we made in our previous session. Hi Nina. So first of all, let's start with demolding it and give this a finishing look first. Let's do that. So I'll just demold this again. Demolding steps. Check if there are no wet sides even now. Make sure that it's not bendy. Then slowly edge by edge just edge by edge start demolding your raisin art like. so this is a final product you guys can see it right here so now today i'll even wow th thank you Mon. i know that right? we guys made this so first of all, today I'm going to introduce you another type of a buffer to buff our edges. Now, till now, what we were using was a normal nail buffer. So today we will be using this electric buffer. Now, even this is a nail buffer, but this is an electric one. You can find it very easily on Amazon if you look out for nail drill. Beautiful, right? I know right now. This is so beautiful. And this is like a perfect gift you can give to anyone. Just a small canvas stand and just put this art piece on that stand. And it's just a complete gift that you can give to anyone out there. So I'll first of all tell you how to use this. So this has various types of tips. So today I'll be using the cylindrical round tip. And this has a button over here. So as I press this button, this will start rotating. You can see. So I hope you can hear the voice of this. So you know it's working. So very, very, with very soft hands, I'll be moving this over the edges. You can see. With very soft hand. We just want to pull off the rough sides. So that it doesn't point in hands of our customers. With very soft hands I will be doing this. So my raisin art doesn't really have any pointed sides. So I will be not using it over all the sides. I will be just doing it on the pointy sides. Like over here. With very soft hands. This is a drill machine. So if you do it very hard. What will happen is. It will have a bump all inside and your raisin art will literally cut off. So while you're using this, you need to be very, 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 very precautious. So just very slightly, just roll it over. Don't keep it on one spot for long or, you, or you'll end up having a bump over there. So very softly, just keep on moving it. 
and just smoothen up the sides so mine just had one pointy side so i'm done with it now still this is not a finished piece because these edges they look very weird so what i'll be doing is i'll be using this golden raisin marker you can find this online very easily one marker will cost you around 100 to 150 bucks so i'll give a very very nice outline to this first i'll press my brush on it so i have some paint out here now i'll be spreading it all all over on its edges i'll just show you yeah see now this is something very shabby it gives it doesn't give a complete look to a raisin art but whereas when i give this golden outline it will look like a professional machine made piece and we need to make sure to deliver top quality products to our customers or even if you're gifting it to someone you need obviously we want that when we're gifting something to someone it's just perfect so this is that one last touch that will give a perfect finishing to your raisin art like make sure you do it very carefully because in raisin art why you what is this this is a raisin art marker Mona this is a raisin art marker it comes in men it comes in three colors black golden and rose golden color so you have to first shake this this is basically like a whitener you have to press it tip over here you press it stiff, the paint will come out and then you just have to spread it on the edges. Now, if you'll see this, it gives a very professional look to your raisin art. People do not generally use this marker over bookmarks or something because that transparent edges of the bookmarks is what makes it look even more beautiful. But when we make such products, it has multiple components inside it. Pages, photographs, tapes behind the photographs. So from these edges, we can very clearly see them. And we do not want to give that chance to our customer so that they can pinpoint any flaw in a raisin art. We definitely need to make sure that we make a flawless raisin art. Now you look it over here. And see the edges it just looks so 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 professional now i can even show you i have a mini canvas over here so when i deliver my product i give this canvas to and this is how it looks complete it's a coaster what's its price so what i sell it for is for 549 plus shipping and i include this mini canvas too in it So this is our complete and final product. Thank you, Meena. Okay, so now let's start with something new, something very fresh that we'll be do doing today in our session. First up, you see this now. Can you guess what it is? It is a Spotify mold. This is how when we play songs on Spotify, this is how the palette looks like. So this is bigger mold and this is a smaller one. I've got two molds over here. Amazing. Thank you, Nia. So these are the two molds. Now what, what I'll be doing is... Okay, so first let me tell you there are two types of Spotify molds. One in which these are embossed inside it. That means we need to fill raisin inside it according to the color. Now, there is even another type of Spotify mold which looks absolutely the same. But what the difference is that it does not have these embossed into it. It has outside pouted. As in, I have gaps over here so that I can fill raisin. In those molds, you will not have those gaps. So, how do we make that raisin art? I will just briefly tell you that. We just simply put transparent raisin and put a photograph inside and when the raisin art is made, we just outline these play buttons and heart and everything but 
I personally am someone that if I'm making a raisin product, I will make sure that each and every part of my product is made of raisin. So for this, I'll not be using only normal raisin. I'll be using normal raisin along with UV raisin. Now why UV raisin? Because we need to fill these with different colors and not transparent raisin. Now, just for this small portion, I cannot wait for 24 hours to first fill up the colors and then put the transparent raisins on the photographs. So what I'll be doing this, I'll be mixing color with UV raisin. I'll even teach you how to do that today and put that in these small pieces and we'll immediately within two minutes dry it with a UV lamp and then we'll put up the transparent raisin and a photograph on it. So what I usually do is first up, uh, I have this photograph over here. I place a photograph on this. And in the second step, what I do is I put the Spotify code on it. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Spotify code is. So this is a Spotify code that I've got printed. Now, when I will scan it with my Spotify camera, this song will automatically play. Now, if you want to know how to get these codes out, you can simply just go to Spotify and copy the link of that song. And then you can go to the website of spotifycodes.com. There you can enter the link of your song and you can search and you will directly get the, the get this picture of that song Spotify code. You can just get it downloaded and get it printed and place it into your raisin art. Then anyone can scan your raisin art from a camera and this song will play. So this is a very cool concept that is going on nowadays in a lot of gifting ideas. So for now, let's just move to the artboard and let's just get started with it, right? So here we are. Now, this is my Spotify mold. So for today, what all I'll be using is my tweezers, a silicon brush. I have my black color and my pink color for this small heart. So I'll be filling this playing and the play buttons with black color and I'll be filling the heart with red color. Great. Thank you. Uh -huh. So first of all, before putting in UV raisin, I'll take UV raisin not in the mold. Mind my words, not in the mold. I'll be taking this silicon brush and I'll be putting a drop of my UV raisin onto this part. So, this is how I've taken a drop of UV raisin on this. Now, I'll use my other silicon brush and I'll fill this with this brush. Like, over here. So, so this is a very small mold, I know, yet it's a very time taking process because we need to make sure that our black color is mixed into the raisin. So with a very small quantity, I filled inside this. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll take this black color. I'll take a very small quantity of it on my brush like this here and now I'll directly put my color into this and mix it well I hope it's visible to you all how am I putting in the black color so Don't worry if it comes over the top, we can surely remove it afterwards and that is not an issue at all. A drop here and rest inside this line. Now that I have filled in my black color over a very thin layer of my raisin, I will again put a layer of raisin onto it. Okay, so now again, I'll take this other brush. 
put UV resin on the tip of this one. Just a draw. That's it. Take this and put it inside. Now, if I've got black color, I'll simply just remove it over here. So this is how you put black color into a spot, small portions like this, like in this Spotify mold. Cleaning my brush, clean the rest of the resin and put it there. So I filled my black color. Similar way, in the very similar way, I'll be filling in my play buttons. Take a drop of this. Similarly, I'll place a very, very, very thin layer over here, right? I'll do this same step in the heart too. I filled a very thin layer of resin in this heart also. For heart, we'll be using the powder pink color, not the liquid one. The liquid one, we're only using the black color. Now, I'll again take my black color and mix it in here. I hope it's visible to all of you. So, like this. Make sure you do not rush up the process or you will end up messing this one. Because it is a very, very, very detailed mold. A very detailed one. And yes, I agree, it's a time-taking process. But again, raisin is one of the most fun things to play with. Now, again, we'll take a drop of UV raisin. And fill it over here. Make sure you do this drop by drop because if you just, if you will put directly from the UV resin bottle, you will end up messing this up for sure and I am telling that to you by, from my own experience. So, don't rush. Make sure you make a very beautiful product instead of a bad one. Right? Now what I will do is, I will clean up this black color. So my brush is clean and now I'll take this powdered color so I'll just put some of it on my hand itself and I'll mix this one in the heart because I if you want you can even put the very same color black color in heart too but I like to fill in pink color that's my personal choice if you want you can definitely go ahead with the black color so i've mixed my pink color too this time i'll be taking even half the drop of raisin that we were taking before i'll have to clean my brush properly and there it goes and i'm done with it now we'll be using a raisin, UV raisin lamp to dry this up. Till the time I'll tell you how to seal your photographs before you put them into the raisin. So I have this photo right here and I even have my Spotify code. So what you'll do is you'll get your photo. First of all, you'll get your photograph laminated. Make sure you get it laminated. Second, even after lamination, you'll have to use a broad tape 
and seal it with that tape too because resin is a very 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 effective chemical and it can wet up your photo and we do not want that so make sure you even do it so now if you will observe the mold this is the other small mold that i have this has a small circle over here this is to prevent the resin and to create a hole in the resin now what is this hole for now this is the hole for inserting keychain into your resin spotify keychain mold so for that i have these keychains over here and these keychain connectors you've even seen them in one of my previous sessions so this is a pack of five keychains so you can get it very easily from any stationery store you can get it very easily so this is what you can get so what make sure when you're putting the resin into this small minute parts make sure you do not mess this up doing such small art takes a lot of effort and a lot of struggle of course i agree but it's totally optional and because i have to teach you each and every part of resin whether it's good or bad so i'm just te teaching you how to do such minute detailings in resin so we'll just wait up till it dries till then if you have any doubts till now shoot them in the comment section i would love to take your doubts from pre any of the previous sessions any basic doubts you have about raisin just shoot in the comment section till then okay i'll show you i already have some mixed raisin over here i've mixed 30 grams of raisin with the 15 grams of hardener today so I was planning on doing two molds, but since it's a tutorial, I think one mold is more than enough or else we'll exceed the timings and I don't want that. So now make sure again, I'm telling you in every session, I tell you that make sure you mix your raisin very properly. That is one of the most crucial steps about raisin, especially scraping of the sides. Make sure whenever you're mixing your raisin, you scrape off your sides. Okay, now talking about UV raisin, if you want to buy UV raisin, there are only two brands that I trust. One is this one that you can see right here and one is Quitra brand. The spelling for that is Q-Y-T-R-A. What will we be doing in our next session? Well, in our next session, we will be learning how to handle uv resin till now i've only taught you how to use uv resin in next session we'll even learn how to handle uv resin and there are a couple of things lined up i'll tell you that towards the end of the session so we just wait for it to dry up Also guys, some of the common mistakes I'll tell you that people do in this raisin art. First of all, if you can see, no part of my photograph is coming or my text is coming outside of the raisin. What happens is a couple of times that a tape underneath gets wet and the part of a photograph pops outside of the raisin and that gives a very, very, very shabby look to our raisin. So make sure you do not do that. Another common mistake is that the golden foil I filled in here. A lot of people, what they do is that they put in the golden foil in a very, very, very excessive amounts. And that leads up to making our raisin art look very congested. Already we we have a lot of components in this raisin art. We also need to know how to balance the components of the raisin art. Because already this side of a raisin art is absolutely filled. Even this side of the raisin art is filled with this flower. This flower takes in a lot of attraction of our eyes. So for that, we need to make sure the golden foils that we are putting in at the back, make sure those you put in very, very, very small quantity. So I hope this is tried by now. I'll just check. Yes. So... 
this has dried up so now what i'll do is i'll just first of all i just clean off any extra parts make sure you do not move your mold or bend it a lot or these parts will come out and we don't want that we want that to stick inside a full razor knot so what i need to do is i need to remove this pink color from here or else this will come out in the background of a transparent raisin and that will look really 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 bad so make sure whenever you use raisin color or whenever you use raisin mold make sure you always clean your mold cleaning a mold is very important i'll just pick this up hmm so now what i'll be doing is i'll be making a very thin layer on this mold with uv resin why because i need to stick my resin stick my photograph sorry stick my photograph into the resin now if i'll put this directly what will happen is my photograph will stick on the mold directly and if i'll put a layer of this resin what will happen is i'll have to wait for another 24 hours so i'll just put a very thin layer of uv resin over here just on half the part and i'll spread the rest just on this part of my mold i'll be putting the uv resin i'll use my lighter over it so i'll be using my lighter to kill off the extra bubbles now that it's done i'll place my photograph placed my photo so now i'll be using and tweezer and i'll be putting it my spotify code too so here's my code and i'll be putting it here place it wherever you feel it's right and first up i'll seal this part with uv since it's uv resin it it my photograph will automatically get stick with uv resin when i put a uv lamp on it yes it requires a lot of process it's a slow process yet a fun one so now over now once this one gets dried we will be using our normal resin so let's just keep on mixing it while i explain you the further process so this is now the place where we place this resin onto our mold so even if you do not want to put use like tapes on the back of your photograph to stick it what you can do is you can simply put some uv resin like fevicol on back of your photograph place your photograph wherever you want to place it and put this uv lamp your photograph will get sticked via your uv resin so even that's an alternative for a tape because what happens at times is that resin has transparent edges and a tape is visible so for that reason that is why i made a golden color coating around the photograph resin that we made in the previous session so if you don't want that you can directly stick your photograph with uv resin now a lot of people also may ask why aren't we making this whole resin art with uv resin now for that reason i'll tell you that this small bottle of uv resin will cost you around 900 to 1000 bucks so if you start using uv resin in such high quantities you will end up 
using your money a lot and you'll end up increasing the cost price of your product wherein the margin of your profit will be very low and you'll end up like not selling your product because other reason artists will be selling it at a very lower price so the competition is very high so you do not want that even though there are very very less reason artists who do this spotify keychain mold because obviously top reason that it's very complicated so if you want you can make spotify keychain resin art your niche product niche product as in the your main product that you sell the main product that you advertise on your site or on your instagram page or on your facebook page or wherever you are willing to do this so this is done my photo is, has gotten stuck okay now before putting this resin what we'll be doing is i'll be spraying in my isopropyl spray or the rubbing alcohol spray a very generous amount from one palm yeah so that's it now cleaning its edges now why am i cleaning the edges after spraying my spray because alcohol spray or isopropyl alcohol is flammable so when afterwards i'll be using my lighter over it it might get catch fire so for that reason i was cleaning it now i'll be putting in my resin from the top very carefully start pouring your resin from between as i have always told you guys So now how do we check that our resin mold is filled? I'll be pointing in my ice cream stick on each and every edge edge so that I know like this. I know it's filled, it's filled, it's filled, it's filled. It's a bit empty over here. So I'll just put one ice cream, one scoop of ice cream stick if you want to call it like this. And I'm done. Now the last step that we are left with is using a lighter and moving it all over make sure you do not stick your lighter on one place for long or else you'll end up burning your resin on done we're done with it now we'll wait for next 24 hours till it dries I'll be demolding this in our next session. Okay, so those of you who are asking that what we'll be doing in our next session, next session I'll be teaching you how to handle UV resin and uh, something fun and interesting. You will get a notification on that and make sure you click the attending part and invite other people invite your friends who want to learn this as an art form or anything make sure you wear your gloves apron and a mask over your mouth because the smell of the raisin is very strong and it can completely get to your head so that was all for today and this is the final product that we made in last session this we'll demold it in the next session and i'll also teach you how to insert a keychain connector and how to put a keychain into the keychain connector it's very easy still for those of you who want are confused how to do it so i'll teach that to you too and that was all for today invite your friends and family to join my session and make me help get more exposure make help reason art get more exposure so make sure you tell them to download wisha.live app so that was all for today signing off bye guys thank you so much for being a lovely audience bye looking forward to your next session thank you neha bye meena bye guys